Hello, Stephen Dean speaking. Now, as most people are aware, a great evil is descending on this planet and there doesn't seem to be any viable way of dealing with it at the moment. There doesn't seem to be any forces that are taking it in hand to sort out or to get rid of it. It's just growing and growing and growing. It's descending into a nightmarish chaos, which people are becoming more and more afraid of, and it's breeding fear wherever it goes, getting stronger day by day. But there is a way out of this. And I'll just read this directly from The Course of Miracles. Here then, the one answer of the Holy Spirit to all the questions the ego, or the devil, raises. You are a child of God, a priceless part of his kingdom, which he created as part of him. Nothing else exists, and only this is real. You have chosen a sleep in which you have had bad dreams, but the sleep is not real, and God calls you to awake. There will be nothing left of your dream when you hear him, because you will awaken. Yes, you will awaken from this nightmare. The only way we can deal with it is to get in touch with our spirit through meditation or contemplation or whatever way suits you, but it's vital that you do. Because once you awaken to spirit, then all there is is pure joy. The nightmare will just disappear. Everything will look the same, but instead you will see everything as God, as it truly is, as we are within the mind of God currently experiencing this nightmare. The physical body has to deal with a physical world. And left up to the physical body and brain, fear will be, well, it will just get more and more intense until we do something about it. And the way out is awakening to the truth, awakening that everything around us is God. It's just like in your nighttime dreams, for the people within your dreams, everything around them is you. And just like us within God's mind, everything around us is God. So, the way to deal with this evil, this terrible evil, is to awaken. And awaken we shall. When we pass on, all this finishes anyway, because there's, there's no evil in heaven, there is no hell. This is just something invented by the Catholic Church many, many years ago. There's no hell. There's only the love of God. And it's vital that we get in touch with it now. And to do that, as I said, by meditation or contemplation or even reading The Course of Miracles, it will at least open you up to the truth. It's a way to fight this evil. And it's a good one. The best one. Okay, thanks very much. I'll see you.